Welcome, Star Wars fans, all across the galaxy. This is Uneducated Star Wars Talk, brought to you by the Uneducated Network. I'm your host, Chris Lambert, and thanks for making me a part of your day. So the last time y'all seen me, about a week or so ago, I was busy gloating about how I got everything right that they announced at EA, uh, at EA Play or whatever, and that was a good moment, that was a good moment. But since then, I've sat down and watched all of my Star Wars movies, because I wanted to come to y'all today with re-ranking the movies, because I did this about a year or so ago when the show was first starting. But how I feel about movies have changed, there's new movies out, so... I figured it was about time to get back into this list. And with Solo coming out about a month ago, I feel like I've seen it enough. I've seen it two or three times, three times so it's uh, been enough time so I, I can objectively rank it without it having that freshness still uh, in my brain. But without much ado, let's get into it. Well, before we get into it, don't, uh, don't forget to leave a subscribe on the page, like us on Facebook, all that good stuff, and potential sponsors, this is where your ad will be. So, yeah. Uh, but today's episode, like I say, you're going to rank the movies 1 through 10. It's 10 feature films right now. You can count the Clone Wars movie, animated movie if you want. But if you want to, that'll be 11 on my list because, yeah, that was pretty terrible. But starting off at number 10 is another kind of terrible. And l let's get this straight. I'm a Star Wars fan. I love all these movies. And ranking them, of course, there's going to be last place, second to last place. And this is how I feel about my uh, favorite ones. And this is a list of my favorites. Not the best Star Wars films. Not the ones bestly made. Not the ones most important to the galaxy of Star Wars. This is the films that, this is me ranking them in the order I, I have the most fun watching them. Which ones I play the most, technically, really. But... Starting at, num at number 10 is probably universally called, maybe, eh, it's a toss-up between Attack of the Clones and The Phantom Menace, but at number 10 on my list, I got The Phantom Menace, and I'm not going to talk too, too much about uh, the movies, I'm not going to sit there and give great re uh, reviews for all of them or anything, um, but start off, uh, it's not a great movie, the end fight scene saves a lot of, uh, saves the movie, make it worth watching, and the, <laughs> the end fight scene is probably one of the best fight scenes in Star Wars, even the whole battle of Naboo, it was, uh, pretty dope and everything, get introduced to Padme, which I love Padme, Padme is not a loved character in the fan community, but I love me some Padme, so, uh, we get introduced to her and everything, Phantom Menace, bottom of my ranking at number 10, not uh not a movie that I put on too often, and you know I barely like if Star Wars is on TNT I'm watching it, but Phantom Menace when it was on the other day I didn't find myself uh wanting to sit down and watch it until it got to that last fight scene with Darth Maul. Darth Maul saves this movie, and it probably wouldn't get mentioned if it wasn't for that in fight scene and Darth Maul. It would probably just get cast away like the Clone Wars animated movie. But at number nine is, this is number 10 sequel, Attack of the Clones. And when I was younger, when this movie first came out, this was a, this was my movie. This was my movie. I can't even lie. The Obi-Wan investigating uh, Django and stuff like that. The, uh, the, the How the clones get, how we get introduced into the clones and everything. That was dope to me. Um... Obi Wan getting on Geonosis. It's just him. Obi Wan and uh, Django fights are pretty dope throughout the movie. The Attack of the Clones uh, on Geonosis and everything. All that was great. All that was great. I really enjoy all that kind of more than uh, I enjoy Final Minute. So that's why that film ranks number nine on my list. And like I say, it was a it was a favorite of mine growing up. But as I got older and able to comprehend movies a little bit more. Yeah, it's not a great movie, but still a Star Wars movie, so it's on my list. At number eight, I got the Force Awak I got the Force Awakens episode seven, and this film it might have been pretty. I remember it being pretty higher on my list when I last time did this, but letting it sink in like we like two years plus with the Force Awakens, and I don't put it on that uh, that often. I love the characters. Let's get that straight. I love the characters. I love Rey, love Kylo, love Poe, love Finn. Love all these new characters that we got introduced to. I love those. I don't love the movie because it reminds me so much of A New Hope. And that is okay, but if I want to be reminded of A New Hope, I'll just put it in A New Hope because that's pretty. That's a better film to me. But like I say, I do love the characters. I just don't love the movie as a 
as a whole. Like I don't I don't go running back to the Force Awakens, but even though it did have some dope moments, it did have some dope moments. But at number seven, I got the most recent movie to come out, Solo, a Star Wars story. And to tell you the truth, coming out of this movie, I felt like this movie would rank pretty high, but letting it simmer in and like letting that freshness uh get out of it and seeing how it just fits with the movies. It's a real good movie. Like I say, eight through th- eight through four, I've had the hardest time ranking these movies uh in these spots. And this solo was pretty hard for me to uh put kind of this low, but it, it is what it is. And like I say, I really enjoyed this movie. If you haven't gone and seen it, still go see it. I, it's been a while since I checked the uh, the box office numbers on it, but last time I seen it, it wasn't doing great. I think we're going to cancel those sequel talks about that anybody thinking of and everything. But like I said, if you haven't seen Solo, great movie. Go see it. It's just not one of the best Star Wars movies to me. But uh, like I said, Solo at number seven. So far, we got Phantom Menace at 10, Attack of the Clones at 9, Episode 7 at, at number 8. And Solo, a Star Wars story at number seven. At number six, I got The Granddaddy of Them All, episode four, A New Hope. And this movie, I, I know I might get some slack behind people feeling, oh, you got the, the one that started it all, number six. You can make your own list, dog, man. Because, like I said earlier, this is a list of my favorite films that I go to, what basically get the most spins in, um, in my PlayStation and my Blu-ray player and all. And number four is... is I mean, number six is is pretty decent because I don't think I had it ranked that high in my last time doing it. But seeing seeing uh, more stuff about Han Solo, seeing episode seven, episode eight, and stuff like that made me go back to episode four, and it is is one of the better movies, and it just captures some feelings that just don't go away. So episode six, I mean, I'm sorry, episode four is at my number six spot. And it's a film I uh, not always go to, but I really don't mind in uh, watching it. Like, it was on TNT the other day. That's one I did sit and just put on. Even had it, like, as background music while I was washing dishes and stuff like that. Episode 4 always will be one of my favorites, like I said, because it started it all and everything. Just not one of the top tier, just not in my top tier movies of my favorites. But it is a great movie, um, nonetheless. Number 5, I got Rogue One. The movie that had all the problems behind it and everything turned out to be pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. And I got it at number five. And it, I know for sure Rogue One probably has slid upward since it's, uh, since it's released and since my, uh, my last time doing, uh, doing ranking the movies. If it was even out by then. But, but anyway, like I said, Rogue One, this is another movie I don't love. Well, I love the character. I do like the characters. I just don't like how much time that I feel like we got cut short of spending with them. I wish I wish we could have got more on screen time with Jen. Yeah, they do a great job in the novelization, and uh, I forget the book that was centered around Jen and Saw. Um, I forget that it was such a great book though. Those capture Jen to uh, they they do a better job catch, capturing Jen and giving uh making us feel for and making her more relatable and all those types of things. So I wish that would have came across more in the movie. I like Cassie and Andor. I love uh I liked them in the movie. You did a great job. Rogue One has some of the it it does have the best moment since Star uh since Star Wars has been acquired by Disney and that's the Vader scene. The uh, nobody was really expecting a scene like that from Vader. I know I wasn't but once once I seen it, it was like, yo, this got to be in my top moments with Star Wars. So, yeah, I, uh, it's not that I put Rogue on Rogue One on just for that moment because it's a good movie. It's a good, not great movie overall. But like I said, I wish I wish we could have got to learn a little bit more about those characters in film, not uh, throughout the other different medias and stuff like that. And uh, overall, it was still a great movie. At number four, I got episode eight, The Last Jedi, the most, I feel like the most controversial uh, movie of them all, because this, since the prequels, I haven't seen fans split like this behind a movie. Well, Solo too, so you can say that, but we haven't seen fans split like this behind a movie in quite some long time since the prequels, really, so 
Episode 8, to me, I loved it. It was a great movie to me. I enjoyed Luke's story. A lot of people have a problem with that. I, I don't have a problem with uh, Luke being the broken man that he is after all he done been through. Ray and Kylo are some of the, the best scenes in Star Wars to me. With um, Best acting scenes, because it's not some of the best Star Wars scenes, but it is some of the best acted scenes, I feel like, in Star Wars with uh, Ray and Kylo and they back and forth when they talking to each other. Uh, the throne room, the Snoke's throne room scene, that was one of my favorite moments in, uh, that's one of my favorite top moments in Star Wars right now, so that gets up there. Overall, to me, I feel like The Last Jedi is just a great movie, and right now, it's just, I stay putting it back in, back in the PlayStation and giving it another, another view. But, at number three, I got what's universally known as the best made Star Wars film, and that's Empire Strikes Back. And it's nothing else really to be said about that, because this film already has the highest honors that can be said from the Star Wars fan community. It's the best, I, I do feel like it is the best made Star Wars film, and it has some of the best uh, moments in it. The Luke, I'm your father, Vader and Luke's fight is a, uh, a damn good fight. You just feel the emotion and stuff. Han getting frozen in carbonite. Uh, uh, it just, Empire Strike Back, it, is one of the best movies and like i say now we're in that top tier of star wars movies so it yeah this movie empire strikes back there's nothing really else to uh it's nothing really bad to say about it and it's nothing else really good to say because everything has been said about it having the honor of the one of the best star wars films which star wars in my mind is the best film franchise ever and this is the best film of that franchise so High on us there. It's just not my favorite, favorite to watch. And at number two, I got Return of the Jedi. And this is this like I said earlier about Attack of the Clones. Growing up when I uh first seen Return of the Jedi, this was my favorite film because I love the uh big action battle uh with the battle of Endor, the three way battle with Han and Leia on Endor, Luke in the Death Star fighting Vader and Sidious, Lando and uh, Neem Nub, and <coughs> excuse me, Lando, Neem Nub, and uh, Admiral Akbar trying to destroy the Death Star and everything. It was just, um, it's not a tense, tense moment, but to me, that is some of the best Star Wars at its core is Vader and the em Vader, Emperor Luke, and Han and Leia. Like, all oh, that was just great to me. It's no, it's not as good as a film as uh, Empire Strikes Back, but like I say, because of the battle in Endor, Return of the Jedi I get always is always up there when it comes to uh, playbacks. I guess you would say uh, spins on the PlayStation. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, I I always I'm for sure always playing back uh, Return of the Jedi because of that uh, that last fight scene, Battle of Endor. Like I said. But my number one favorite film, and I know this film hasn't gone moved since ever, so probably since I've been a teenager and seen it. But Revenge of the Sith is my number one. For I don't know if anything's gonna dethrone this, cause Revenge of the Sith is my favorite for a multitude of reasons. Y'all know I might have said a couple times that I'm a big, I love my action movies, and Revenge of the Sith is action packed from the beginning to the end with. Might not be great stories, but to me the stories at heart were uh, really not touched me. But you you feel for Anakin, I feel for Anakin. You feel for Obi Wan. You feel for Padme. Like the whole time you see Sidious um, wrap like wrap up his plan. Ultimately, Sidious wins. He says, "I can be here all day telling you uh, why I love Revenge of the Sith so much." Got Grievous. Do uh, the fight with Dooku at first was pretty good, pretty good, and. Revenge of the Sith. It's, I can babble about it all day, but that's my number one. To give y'all a quick recap, number 10, Phantom Menace. 9, Attack of the Clones. Number 8, The Force Awakens. 7, Solo, A Star Wars Story. Number 6, uh, A New Hope. 5, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. I gotta remember to add that on there. Uh, number 4, Episode 8, A Last Jedi. Number 3, Episode 5, of Empire Strikes Back. To Return of the Jedi and number one is Revenge of the Sith. Let me know in the comments how you feel about my list. What is your list? And yeah, just keep the conversation going because I love doing uh, videos like this. I'm more of a fan of just 
talking my take on the Star Wars universe, not trying to report news to y'all or anything, because I ain't no journalist. I'm not sitting here trying to be a journalist. I'm just a Star Wars fan who likes talking Star Wars. So uh, if you want more of my take on Star Wars, keep it locked right here on the Uneducated Network. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Hit that share button too if you, uh, if you don't mind, I guess. And if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. And like I keep saying, don't forget to share it, share it, share it, share it, because the more you share, the more people get to see it, the better it helps out the channel. The more we want to bring y'all new content. And I'll see y'all next time in my next video. Like I said, keep it locked right here. Until next time, bye-bye.